Alright, so this time, uh, going back to our edit mesh menu, I would like to go over a few other tools. This time, I'm going to go over this tool set. Let's go ahead and create an object. Go to polygon primitives, Q. I'm going to add more divisions to it. So I'm going to go under the channel box here. Set it to like something like 5. Press enter. Notice I highlighted all for width, height, and depth. Set to 5. Select the object. Now the first tool is the slide edge tool. So to use the slide edge tool, you must first select an edge tool. An edge. You can either select the whole edge tool by double clicking on it, or just one edge, or a number of edges. Okay. So I'm going to select the whole edge loop in this case. And go to slide edge loop tool. Now to move to slide the edge loop, I must use the middle mouse button and drag. If you use the middle mouse button, you can drag to whatever direction you want the edge loop to be. Let's say I want it right there. You can select another edge and do the same thing. As you can see, you can slide just one edge. And you can use that one as well. So that is the really uh, all you can do with the slide edge tool as, as far as I know. This is a really basic tool. Slide edge edges, and it can be useful when you have more organic geometry. You want to, instead of just moving it by hand, you can just use this slide edge tool. Too. All right. The next tool will be the transformed component. So if we click on it right now, it's not going to do anything because we didn't have anything select. Oh, actually, I did. I had an edge loop select. Basically what the transform component does is it allows you to move edges, faces, or the whole object according to the normal direction of the faces. I know I have not spoken about normal direction. Basically the normal direction is the, the direction the faces are facing. So like this face is facing up, so the normal direction is up. So if we select a few faces, like these, and we go to Edit Mesh Transform Component. To move the faces along the normals, use the blue handle here. So I'm going to use that one. And as you can see, you can move those faces that way. And of course, there's practical uses for, for the Transform Component tool when you're actually modeling something. Think of it as using the extrude tool, but without actually having to extrude something. This is exactly how the extrude tool works. When you extrude something and you use the blue handle, you extrude along the normals. But in this case, you're just moving those faces along the normals. That is basically what the transform component does. Moves uh, your selection along the normals. So the next uh, tool would be the flip triangle edge. I find that I don't use this tool so much and it's so similar to the next tool, the next two tools that I'm going to show you. And I'm just going to skip that one because it's so similar. So I'm just going to use the spin edge forward or the spin edge backward. So to use the spin edge Tool, you must select an edge first. I'm going to select the edge right there. And if we go to spin edge forward, you can see that the edge flow changes. Basically, it spins the edge. So the edge was right here, and it rotated it uh, to face this direction. And it's always going to connect to a vertex, as you can see right here. So connect this vertex into that vertex instead of these two and you can use it more than once to change the direction of the edges that you have say let's use it one more time and it spins that way now and if you do it one more time it's going to go back to the same direction now spin edge backward it's exactly the same thing but backwards so I don't even need to show you it's 
forward if I use this one I'm pressing G so I can do that and you can change the edge flow of the geometry that you have so that's basically what the spin edge will uh, the spin edge uh, backward or forward does spins the edge so that you can change the flow of the edge loops and it's actually a really useful tool and the last tool for this tool set would be the edit edge flow uh, this one is highlighted in green which means it's new I think it's new I don't remember it being there before or it might be just be improved but I think it's a new tool or an improved tool uh, which I find myself not using so much and it's the edit edge flow so if you select an edge loop or edge and just click on it as you can see it's changed the edge flow that we have here to match it so that it matches more to this edge loop that was right there so if I undo you can see it's completely straight and if I show you it made so the edge loop is more has more of the direction of this one so if I do the same with this one just move it just a little bit just so that it matches more with the edge flow that I have right there and that's pretty much basically what it does although sometimes it can do some kind of strange things like it just did right now as you can see it just moved the these edges outside which is mainly the reason I, I don't really use this tool so much I don't find the I haven't really found a necessity for using that tool so in all honesty I, I don't even use it but if you find a good uh, application for it of course you should go ahead and use it uh, so that's basically all the tools I wanted to show you for this video